please welcome Ron Carroll, everybody. Ron Carroll. Ron Carroll. I love this crowd. I, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, another HJM comedian. Horny, Jewish, and miserable. <laughs> okay. you, you know, dating in a city can be really tough. Um, it's like these girls that I meet, they have this mystical ability to figure out that I'm a loser even before they really get to know me. <laughs> Like, like this one girl, even before the date started, she said, let's go Dutch. <laughs> now, now, I'm not denying the fact that I'm a loser, but at least give me a few minutes to prove it. <laughs> you know, 10-10 you know, wins may take 22 minutes to show you the world, but it takes less than two seconds for these girls to figure out that I'm a schmuck. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'm gonna work this table right here. I'm gonna work this table right here. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. They like schmucks, they like schmucks. <laughs> and this other girl, she just refused to go out with me. She said that she's 36 years old and at her age, she knows exactly who she's looking for. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I heard this guy mention recently that um, his mom will pick up girls for him. And um, you know, my mom does the same thing except she'll she'll break up for me as well, you know? Like, like I'll say, Ma, you know, I don't want to break up with this girl. I love her, I want to marry her. She's like, Ronnie, you can't do it, it's inappropriate. I picked her up on a school bus. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> All right, keep those thoughts to yourself. All right. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's get, getting even tough to, um, you know, get some action at a strip club, you know? <laughs> The stripper says to me, hey, for $500, we can go to the champagne room and you can touch me. I'm like, $500? There better be the best Jewish porn film in history going on there. You know? Let's call it Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Schmeckel. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I work the bar, work the bar. <laughs> and um, at least for that price, you know, throw in a free set of tools from Apex Tech, you know. <laughs> I don't know, the way this commie thing is going, maybe I should have studied heating and refrigeration, I don't know. But, and why do they call it the champagne room? I just think the owner of the strip club is watching from another room and he's telling his partner, pop open that champagne, Bob, we just reeled in another sucker. <laughs> and um, I, th I think a lot of my frustration stems from the fact that I never get sexually harassed. You know, um, <laughs> <laughs> I had this gay Israeli boss and he never groped me. The fact that, he, that he's Israeli has nothing to do with it, okay? <laughs> In high school, the female teachers, they never had sex with me. Even, <laughs> even when I was a kid in yeshiva, my rabbi never molested me. And, uh, <laughs> and all the time growing up, these adults would say to me, oh, what a good looking boy, so handsome. They all lied to me, they never made a move. <laughs> I think the only time that I'll finally have sex on a regular basis is when I finally get admitted to a nursing home. You know? <laughs> or, 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 when I, or when I become a maid at a New York City hotel. Whoa! Whoa! Viva la France, baby! Viva la France! <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So with all my problems, I decided to visit a psychic. And it, it, it was a bad move. Bad move, bro. Bad move. <laughs> I asked the woman, you know, 